Rach. Today I have a bit of a bonus video for you guys. It's more of a personal one about my life. And it's it's not really a haul, but it's a, I'm just going to say, it's a what I got for my birthday video. And it is two months late, which if this was like a library we would be, I'd, I'd be up for a quite a big fee. Um, I turned 26 on the 5th of April, which also happened to fall on Easter Sunday. So I got Easter eggs and I got birthday presents for my birthday. And it also happened to be the end of daylight savings here in New South Wales in Australia. So I also got an extra hour of sleep and my birthday was 20 five hours as opposed to 24 hours so I was a very lucky girl and this is my first opportunity to say it but I wanted to say it on a video thank you thank you thank you so so much for all of you who took the time to send me a message on my Facebook page or write on my wall or write to me on Twitter or on my Instagram feed or on in comments on a video here I truly truly appreciate it it's it's sort of amazing to be able to share my birthday with people that I may have never even really met in real life but we have a connection through this amazing thing that we call YouTube and the fact that you even took the time to think that it was my birthday and send me a birthday message or even sort of just even if you thought it in your head oh it's Rachel's birthday today it means the world to me and I just want to thank you so much and I had some requests to see what I got for my birthday so one that I know I'm going to dedicate this video to Erin Geary, I think her name was, who requested this video specifically on uh, my last video, my Q&A that I, I put up just before my birthday. So this, this is for you and for all of you guys who just are curious and want to see what I got for my birthday. I am going to warn you that this has quite a rose gold copper theme. I am all about the rose gold and copper. I was all about the rose gold jewelry and then when they sort of transferred that trend into homewares and you have all this copper stuff that is everywhere and it makes me so happy um well you know i jumped on that bandwagon as well so starting off i let, let's let's start off with some jewelry this i got from my sister it's from sports girl and it is a lovely sort of rose gold copper inspired necklace i really really like this one it's just like a cute simple interesting design she also gave me these two necklaces that came in a pack so there are individual necklaces, but you can wear them together. These are from Lovisa. Lovisa. I never get that correct. I used to actually work for them when they were called Diva, but they changed names now. So they're just two long necklaces that you can wear them separately or together. Gold with like a little cute sort of green gemstone on it. Really, really like this one. Great to just sort of jazz up a plain t-shirt. From my sister, I also received this really cute beanie with a pom-pom. Again, from Sports Girl. I do love me some beanies. It's still not quite cold enough to wear them here in Australia, but if I have like a night where I go to the football or we have a bonfire or something like that, you got to break out the beanies and this one's really, really adorable and soft and warm as well. Again, with the rose gold trend, my sister got me this little, it's like a little bracelet also from Sports Girl that you wear. You can kind of, it's like almost like a cuff, but then it has a little tie up thing. I've seen sort of high end versions of this and I don't know why I'm struggling so much to get it on. Maybe I shouldn't have put it over my hand. Um, but this is just sort of an inexpensive version that I really, really like with the little um, bead that you use just to tighten up the, the bracelet so it will stay on. Again, anything rose gold is just, it's the fastest way to my heart. So I really, really like that. From my parents, one of my big presents was also a jewelry piece. If you guys are on Instagram or particularly at Christmas time, because I feel like every second person I know got one of these for Christmas. It's a, the horse watch or a horse watch. I adore this one. I actually am wearing it today. Funnily enough, it is on my wrist. I got the classic style with the grey band and then the rose gold detailing with the white face. I just, I adore this. I've been wearing it non-stop since I got it. It's just great quality, a very classic look to it. And the one thing that I wear the most when it comes to jewellery pretty much is watches. I never leave my house without a watch on and my pearl earrings and then everything else I can kind of take or leave depending on how I'm going. So. I, I don't mind having a collection of watches because I just I wear them all the time and this is amazing. I am so in love with the horse watches. I actually have my eye on another couple of sort of colorways that they have, particularly in the original style. I kind of like the old black one because I don't have an old black, but then there's oh, I just there's so many. 
If you've got a horse watch, let me know which one that you have, or if you've got your eye on one, which is which is your favorite, because I'd love to hear, but I was so incredibly grateful to receive this watch, and it's just, it's my new baby, I love it. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, particularly my room tour from way back when, you know that Typo is one of my favorite stores, and my parents gave me a $30 gift card to Typo. This just makes me happy. I haven't actually spent it because I kept on thinking to myself, I need to film a what I got for my birthday video and I need to be able to show them what I got. But now that I've shown you guys, I am totally allowing myself to spend this bad boy and they have a copper range as well at the moment. Ah. Probably one of my most treasured gifts that I got was actually this book. This is More Than Forever by Jay McLean. If you are a reader like me and have watched any of my book chats, you know that Jay McLean and this particular series is just one of my favorites. And she actually tweeted me on my birthday and, and wished me a happy birthday and offered to send me a signed book as a gift. So she sent me my favorite book of the series, which is the More Than Forever, which is Lucy and Cameron's story. I would highly recommend this book and I just adore her as an author. The fact that she would go to the trouble of sending me something that says, it says, Hi Rachel, Team Luca for eternity and for always. Happy birthday and thank you for your support, Jay McLean. Like, how sweet is that? I just thought that was the nicest thing and I will definitely treasure this birthday gift forever. More copper because I just love it so much. I have this Coco Lux candle. It's the sweet pomegranate and acai scent. It's infused with coconut. I was um, alerted to this brand from one of my colleagues at work who knows how much I love the copper and rose gold thing and I mentioned it to my sister and she managed to get me one for my birthday. It smells utterly amazing and this like little like the candle holder is real copper so once it's all done I can use it as like a little I don't know brush holder or as a votive holder for candles or I don't know whatever I'm definitely going to repurpose this because I love the scent I love it I really want to get my hands on some more Coco Lux candles and then I also got a copper sort of wire basket thing here. I think you can actually, it's probably meant to be like a fruit basket or something like that, but I'm probably going to use it somewhere in my bedroom. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but obviously I adore it. <laughs> the last few things I have to show you, one of them is from uh, Kuyana, I think is how you say it. This is a brand that I first saw, I believe on Miss Glamorazzi's channel, and I've had some of their things on my wish, wish list for a very long time. Their motto is fewer better things and I just I really adore that motto overall and I was making a purchase for one of my friends as a gift kind of like a pre-wedding bridal shower bachelorette party kind of gift so I actually got one of these sets for her and when I was talking about it to my mum my mum mentioned why not I order one for myself um, on behalf of my parents for my birthday so I decided to do that. What it is is the travel set so it's in this gorgeous maroon color with some monogramming so it says RJA which are my <laughs> initials and then you also get the smaller version inside so you can use one for makeup, one for your toiletries or, or whatever you want really and the quality is amazing it's real leather and I can just see myself having these for a very very long time so it's a very special gift for me. My family definitely spoiled me. My sister got me this fuzzy kind of oversized cardigan. It's like a grey mix I believe this is from. It's Emerson so it's from Big W. It's just really really soft and cozy great for winter and then from my parents that was something that I kind of picked out we, we kind of got together. One second I'll grab them for you. It's actually a pair of shoes. The brand is Divalina and I'm sure some of you guys might have seen these before. Just let me grab them. They look like this. So if you're into your designers you will know that these look very very similar to the Valentino Rockstud heels. Something that I have always loved and adored but probably will never be able to afford. So this is my sort of little substitute. They're just nude with the gold things. They're 
quite sort of over the top and I love just wearing them with simple outfits like jeans and a t-shirt if you're going out sort of at night for a dinner and then this is sort of the way that you're blinging up your outfit. And then last but by no means least I got a couple of like home wary things. The first a lot of you guys have noticed in my vlogs that I've posted recently. It is my copper lamp which I will take you to since I don't have it in my hands to show you guys. It is from Freedom Furniture here in Australia and I utterly adore it. I love the old fashioned style. I love the wooden base. It's really, really cute. And then I just got the globe myself. It's just a, um, it's, it's from Bunnings actually. It wasn't overly expensive and you can see the filaments when it lights up and it has that oversized sort of bulbous shape to it. You can put whatever globe that you want in the lamp but I just thought that that really added to that style. And then I also got a little flower and flower pot with a copper basket from some of my colleagues at work who again know how much I love the copper thing and I love the orchid. It's just simply adorable. It is real and I've managed to not quite kill it yet. It's looking a little bit sad, I admit, um, two months on, but I'm going to try and keep it alive the best that I can. And I just think it looks so pretty above my bed. I just, I absolutely love it. So that is what I got for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're curious and wanted to know, I was very spoiled. I'm very, very lucky and I absolutely adore and am very, very thankful for all the presents that I got. If you happen to have had a birthday recently and you want to share what you got for your birthday in the comments below, I would love to hear it. Or if you filmed a video, leave a link to that in the comments as well. I would love to see it. I do adore watching what I got for my birthday and what I got for Christmas videos. We're just, we're nosy people at heart and I like seeing what other people get as gifts because it gives me ideas of what to give as gifts as well. So yeah, that's it from me. Check out the description box for all my social media links. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out and I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye.